Hi, I'm Sarah Moskowitz. I'm a certified child passenger safety technician in Providence, Rhode Island. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Graco ExtentiFit convertible car seat rear facing. Graco has a few versions of the ExtentiFit on the market. Usually the name is written right here under the child's left knee. This is the basic ExtentiFit. There are also the ExtentiFit 3-in-1, the ExtentiFit Forever. There might be some more by the time this video is posted. Um, on all models, they rear face until 50 pounds and 49 inches. Uh, you also need one inch above the top of the child's head to the adjuster lever at the top, which is the headrest adjuster. Um, before you begin installing, you want to make sure you have your cup holders installed on all the models. I do have a video on my channel about how to install the cup holders on the basic extent of it. I'll link that below in the comment, uh, right above the comment section. And you also want to make sure that the crotch buckle is in the spot closest to the child without being underneath the child. To adjust the headrest, you're going to squeeze the lever and pull up until it locks into position. You want to make sure that the straps, which are moving up and down with the headrest, are coming from at or below the child's shoulders. You're going to want to recline the seat to the appropriate angle. So on the extent of fit, you have four rear-facing positions, one, two, three, and four. In Canada, you only have one through three. So if you're watching this from Canada, just be aware your seats are slightly different than the, the US seats. On the extent of fit, you have a recline indicator, which is a ball indicator. On the three in one and the forever, it's actually a bubble indicator, but on both types of indicator, you'll have a dark blue zone and a light blue zone, as well as red zones on the ends. For rear facing, you wanna make sure if the child is under three months that you're in the light blue zone, the ball or the bubble will be in the light blue zone. For over three months, the ball or bubble should be in the dark blue zone. To adjust the recline on the car seat, you're going to squeeze the lever at the bottom that says recline, and the seat is going to tilt back. There's a little arrow at the bottom of the seat, and you're going to make sure it's pointing to a safe position. Also on the bottom of the seat is the extendable footrest. So it's right above the recline. You're going to squeeze the gray lever and pull out. Now there are four positions. The first one is all the way in. Position two, position three, and position four. Um, rear facing, uh, Graco has clarified any of those options are safe for all uh, ages and weights. I, for this car, like to leave it just on what, a level, I guess it's position number two. It's just one click out. I'm going to adjust the recline. One tip that will help to tighten the seatbelt when you're installing rear facing is to lift up the car seat cover around the rear facing belt path. Um, on this car seat, you do have an elastic tab that runs over this direction and clips back onto the cover through the belt path. So I just undid that. I'm going to take the vehicle seat belt and thread it through the rear facing belt path, which is under the child's thighs. I'm going to buckle the seatbelt. Now in this vehicle, to lock the seatbelt, what I have to do is pull the seatbelt slowly all the way out until it stops. And then I let it go back in and I'll hear a ratcheting sound, which indicates that the seatbelt is locked. If I try to pull it back out, it doesn't come out. Most vehicles will probably lock this way. If your car doesn't seem to have this feature, check your vehicle owner's, ma vehicle owner's manual um, or consult a CPST, um, one of our uh, car seat groups, but most vehicles I find have this method of locking the seat belt. Now I'm going to double check my recline indicator on the side of the seat and now I'm going to tighten the seat belt to make sure that I can get this seat to move less than one inch side to side and front to back. So now I can lift up the cover and I'm going to pull only on the shoulder belt and tighten and feed it back into the retractor. Now I still have a little bit of movement. What I like to do, um, I don't have much upper body strength, I guess, is I'll actually climb in behind the car seat. I'll push down on the seating area and use my hips to push the seat into the vehicle seat back while grabbing that shoulder belt. 
and removing the excess slack and feeding it back into their tractor. Now I'm going to, to use my non-dominant hand and pull the car seat at the belt path, not up here, it's always going to move up here, but at the belt path, I'm going to see if the seat moves more than one inch side to side and front to back. I don't see any movement. Replace the elastic, replace the cover around the cup holder and on the side. And you've installed the car seat rear facing. 